I started Kathy's Table uh, originally as a WordPress food blog. The reason I started it was because growing up with Crohn's, it was just really hard to find healthy snacks that wouldn't make me sick with my Crohn's disease. Um, I would try to find almond flour and, and different ingredients and just make little cookies and crackers and snack type um, items. I wanted them to taste like you were eating the real thing. So I would take pictures and post the recipes on kathystable.com. Growing up with Crohn's disease and living with me and my brother and my mom was a full-time single mom, it was really hard to find ingredients and find ways to cook and bake and, and make little snacks and stuff that wouldn't make me feel sick. I knew that if I could find a way to do it and make it for the masses, then it would be so much easier and, and so convenient for, for families that were like my mom's and, and me growing up as a child. So yeah, that's where everything came from, is just making it convenient and affordable so that families could enjoy healthy food and not have to spend so much time making it themselves. When I was a student at UNF, I was teaching classes at the gym, sharing my little snacks with my personal training clients and stuff. You know, everybody was just going, oh my gosh, I want to buy these regularly every week from you. So I ended up converting the WordPress blog into an e-commerce site. You know, I took my pictures of my food that I was gonna sell and I put a little PayPal button on the website and that was how I started. Back then I was working out of my grandmother's kitchen in Ponte Vedra. Then eventually it becomes, you know, such a high demand that um, people were asking me to do meals and, you know, they were wanting to feed their families. And when I met my husband, Dan, we were first dating and he found a commercial kitchen downtown. We worked out of that kitchen and took all of our orders over the website and just him and I making all the deliveries. And that's kind of how it started. And now we have a big retail location now where you can just come by anytime and pick up meals and it's all open so you can see the production going on and the, the whole staff prepping and, and making all the food fresh. It's really cool. You know, when you're first starting a food business, you're trying to get your name out there and, you know, it's hard to find good talent when you're such a young business. When we first started hiring people, I, I hired one of my friends and my husband hired one of his friends and, you know, none of us are chefs. and. I had to kind of teach them everything and that was how it was with a lot of the employees in the beginning is teaching them and coaching them. But now we kind of have a name now so it's it's nice that chefs actually come to me. <laughs> when you come from a restaurant, you know, they're used to working late nights on the line, fast paced and they're just doing the same dishes over and over and over again. So when they hear about Kathy's table, they're like, oh, wow, I can come up with a new dishes every two weeks. It's, you know, and that's what they say. It's, it's just so fun. It's always changing. It's always fun coming up with new ideas. And when we brainstorm with the chefs and I, we're always thinking, oh, yeah, my mom used to make this one thing. And, and oh, yeah, my grandma, she used to make this for every Christmas dinner. And, you know, so we always kind of talk about what we grew up eating and our families, what our families used to make. So that's kind of usually where our conversations start when we're brainstorming about new menu ideas. Not only are they using what they've learned in the culinary world, but also putting those skills into a meal that everyone can relate to and everyone can feel like it was like, you know, home cooked meal that is relatable to everyone. That's a great compliment is, is knowing that, you know, the customers, they really enjoy the love that we put into each and every meal.